GPS modules are now really cheap and tiny devices. This would give my IoT and robotics projects data on position and speed. So can I read these from a Raspberry Pi Pico? Let me tell you all about it. Hi, I'm John, your country edge to the world of the Raspberry Pi Pico, Pico 2, robotics, IoT, and other fun tech. Remember to subscribe and join the community. This is my three minute summary for the GPS module. If you have time, why not check out the full video? The device I've chosen is the ATGM336H5N, a small single chip module with a UART interface and 3.3 volts compatible. So that's nice and compatible with our Pico. Hi, so I'm outside the British Engineering in Brighton and Hove, which I thought was a great place to demonstrate this and see if we can uh, get um, my GPS to work. So let's have a look at the GPS. So here we go, the device, and it's quite difficult getting it in focus. Let me just freeze frame it so that we've got the actual position. So there we are, 50.84 by uh, minus 0 0.17, which is pretty much what Google says my position should have been too. So um, the device certainly works, and I can live read my location and display it on my little um, WaveShare RP2040 touch display. The data from these devices uses a protocol called NEMA0183, and I've used a parser by Cosma to process the data. You can see all my working experiment projects on the GitHub repo. I have some plans for some IoT projects using this GPS module, so keep subscribed and watching to see what I come up with. If you like this video and it helps you learning your projects, why not drop me a cash tip using that super thanks button below the video or the payment link in the description. Remember, I'm saving these up to get myself to the open source conference in San Francisco, and I'd appreciate your help in getting there, and I hope to see you there too. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please hit the like button, and please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video. Bye bye for now.